What's going on, everyone? Wanted to give the backstory uh, that a lot of people are asking about, uh, about our newest product launch, uh, which is the Harley uh, vehicle seat patrol bag. Um, difficult story to tell. Uh, however, um, it was something that we've already had so many people ask about. Uh, so I decided I was going to do a video on it. So, um, like I said, uh, a, a tough story. Um, anything, as many of you know, uh, anything involving dogs is, uh, near and dear to me. And, um, uh, this story really hit home. And I hope that all the people who are asking uh, to hear this story, um, although um, it is a sad one, um, we're trying to do something uh, to bring some sort of light or silver lining to it. Um, I'm going to tell you now that if you have young children watching this or listening to this, um, maybe you want to have them earplugs or uh, look away or maybe you want to come back and watch this later um, but um, so I'm gonna go into it and then I'm gonna go into uh, telling you about the product but first I'm gonna tell you the story uh, November 13th of last year 2019 uh, Fishers uh, Indiana uh, uh, the police were chasing a suspected drunk driver um, the drunk driver fled from the police and um, there was a pursuit, and that uh, driver of that vehicle ultimately, it, it, what they call in police uh, terms, bailed out, meaning they crash, and then they exit the vehicle, and they run. Um, uh, Officer Jared Koopman uh, was on patrol that evening, and uh, Jared, uh, a canine handler, uh, with his canine Harley, um deployed to chase down the suspect. Uh, the suspect uh, ran and hid and uh, Harley was released and what it's, it's called off lead, meaning Officer Koopman uh, released Harley from uh, the connection of the leash and let Harley go to track down the suspect. Uh, Harley was able to locate the suspect um, and make an apprehension. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the suspect was armed uh, with a firearm and uh, shot Harley in the head, uh, killing him. Harley was a five-year-old Belgian Malinois. Um, as many of you know, uh, my dog, Titan, is a Belgian Malinois. And... Um, I've been involved with dogs now for I don't even know how many years and uh, working with dogs, training dogs, working with canine handlers and decoys. And um, it was a story that really hit home. And um, it was something that uh, I personally reached out to Officer Koopman uh, about um, when a canine handler loses their partner. Um, to most people, losing a dog is like losing a family member. When a canine handler loses their partner, it's not just losing one of their coworkers. Um, it's like losing their best friend. Imagine, for most people, when you have your regular pet, imagine, or your, you know, your dog, imagine being able to go to work every day with your dog, not only drive to work with your dog, but everything you did during the day, your dog was right there, and you utilized your dog uh, for work. You spent time training it, sleeping with it, eating, feeding to have that dog executed like that uh, while the dog was doing its job and I'm sure potentially help save the lives of many officers uh, because if this suspect with the gun was uh, able and willing to shoot and kill a police dog, uh, surely he was ready and willing to shoot and kill a police officer. So um, Harley died a hero. He uh, was only with uh, a, with uh, the canine, as a canine, as a police canine for four years. He was a five-year-old uh, uh, Belgian Malinois. So um, 
I was already in the process of designing this bag and decided that um, uh, I wanted to pay tribute to Harley. Uh, I reached out to uh, Jared. I told him about the project. Uh, I originally reached out to him and asked if there was anything I could do. We as a company uh, sent him some things um, just as our gift to him uh, for his loss. And I'm sure he was grieving, his family, his children were grieving, of course. Um, horrible thing to have to go home and tell your wife and your kids that uh, the, the dog that they grew up with, that they loved um, and probably had such a good connection with was shot and killed uh, by a bad guy. Uh, no one ever wants to go home and tell their family that. So um, while this was already in the lab being designed, um, it had a name. And I decided to change that name and name it uh, in memory of Harley. So um, this, what you're about to see, is the Harley uh, patrol bag. I designed it for uh, police vehicles, but really any vehicle. Um, anyone who works out of their car, mobile office, a lot of people now with coronavirus, COVID-19, they're working remotely and maybe they're in their vehicle more rather than being in their office or maybe they're just working from home but uh, a lot of contractors out there uh, working primarily out of their car their truck their you know their mobile office so um, there's definitely a need for something like this so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into the bag and show you a little bit about the bag before I get into that um, uh, I did of course speak to uh, Jared about naming this bag uh, after Harley and what we're gonna do is uh, a portion of the proceeds from every bag sold uh, I'm going to personally put into a fund um, that annually or maybe even biannually um, we are going to purchase bullet resistant vests for police canines um, and we will select uh, one to two officers every year uh, from somewhere around the country and uh, we will uh, personally give them uh, one of our Titan canine ballistic vests. The vests are the bullet resistant vests that these dogs need uh, to help keep them safe because they're putting their lives on the line. They would literally die for their handlers. Um, and they're out there just like the police officers doing their best to keep you safe. So um, that's our way to honor Harley and um, give back to the police canine community uh, with this this product named in Harley's uh, memory. So uh, let's get into the bag and show you what the bag has and some of the features and um, uh, why it's such an incredible piece of gear and why it was named the Harley Patrol Bag. Okay, so here we go. Um, so I'm gonna try to angle this camera here. And so as you see, it sits on the passenger seat. Now, um, when you're an officer, when you're driving, one of the worst things that can happen to you is when, I'm gonna move this back a little bit, is when you um, hit the brakes hard and your bag goes forward. So what I, of course, designed into this bag was something to go around uh, the headrest here to keep the bag in place. And then on the back side of the bag on the bottom, there's a strap here. And this, uh, if you so wish, can go around the, uh, the backrest of the seat as well. So just uh, two points of contact to keep the bag in place. Now, you could also put this bag on the back of the passenger seat so you could reach across from the driver's seat and um, utilize the bag behind that. So once again, if you flip this around, you can put it on the back of the passenger seat and lock it in with that strap and use it. A lot of people have things on the back of their passenger seats as well. So I'm gonna move this back a little bit more just so we could get a better picture of this. And um, here we go. So um, I hope everyone can see this all right. And all right, let's do this. So the first part of the bag uh, you see here, these two front pockets. We have some Molly here that you can attach first aid kits. You could, you know, attach uh, anything you want, really, that, you know, attaches to Molly. A lot of people carrying tourniquets with them now. 
anything you want here. Some Velcro here, uh, this front panel system we carried over from our Hondo patrol bag and uh, our ultimate patrol bag. So some Velcro here for your patches, uh, your swag, and then we also have the uh, ID card holder there, okay? So heavy duty pulls here on all the zippers, pockets open up, nice double pockets inside. Now the outside of this bag is made with a water resistant material. Uh, not that you're gonna be out in the rain with this bag. Obviously it's made for inside your vehicle, but you could just rest assured that it is uh, a water resistant exterior. Once again, nice big pocket here, um, nice and deep that you have a little key ring that you, know, you can attach a key to, pockets here as well. Okay, you have the two hooks here that hold this front flap system on. This is actually uh, tier one of this bag. Now, another thing to note, there is a hidden pocket here in between that you could conceal different items here. If you're a police officer, obviously there's certain items that you wanna conceal. Um, if you're a regular civilian, um, everyday citizen, um, maybe there's certain things that you don't want uh, people see, looking into your vehicle to see uh, or find if they do break into your vehicle. So you have that here and a nice heavy duty hook here that you could hook a carabiner to. So now there's some hooks on the side here, little side release buckles that you could just uh, unclip here like this, one on each side. And then you have hooks up here and then Velcro that holds that up. This folds down, okay? And what you have here, I'm gonna actually bring this in so you guys can see. You have the Velcro here, you have a, a nice big pocket here. It goes in, all water resistant material. You have a big pocket here. Now the inside of this pocket is completely lined with Velcro. So you could attach anything you want that has Velcro on the entire inside of this pocket. I'm gonna bring that down there. So a lot of attaching uh, mechanisms, uh, bags, pouches, other accessories can attach, even holsters can attach with the Velcro here. There's Velcro backed holsters. So all that here in this pocket, as you can see, is not a flat pocket, it actually comes out. So it has some depth to it here, okay? So multiple layers of storage. On the sides here, you see these, these big, huge pouches. Now, these pouches, a lot of people carry these big, huge water bottles. These people trying to drink a gallon of water a day. And sometimes you see these bottles and clearly they're not gonna fit in your cup holder. Uh, some uh, people have these big fat thermoses, these Yeti cups and things like that. And uh, once again, uh, not gonna fit in your traditional cup holder. Well. I put one of these huge pockets on each side and you guys can see my arm goes in all the way almost to my elbow and you could see that my whole fist can go in here. So this can take those huge thermoses and those huge water bottles, no problem. And there's one on each side of it. So uh, a lot of people uh, in the morning, they have their big coffee thermos and you can kind of keep this closest to uh, you on the driver's side. And then they have a big bottle of water to keep themselves hydrated during the day. You got that there too, you know. Um, a lot of these companies, Poland Spring, Smart Water, they have these big magnum sized bottles now. So uh, if you notice, I also put Molly here on the outside of both pockets. I did that uh, intentionally so you could once again, if you had something that you wanted to attach, additional pouches, additional storage, first aid kits, what have you, you could attach anything you want to the entire outside of both these pouches, giving you expanded uh, capacity to hold items, okay? So then now you have the main pouch. This main pouch here is just, there's no other word for it, it's ginormous, okay? so. Uh, I'm gonna move this back a little bit and uh, position this up a little bit so you guys can see. Um, this pouch here, I'm gonna actually unclip it from the seat so you guys can see inside this pouch. Now, clearly it's just humongous. You could put binders, computers, anything you want. You could fit a jacket in here easily. It's just tremendous. So you see the depth here. You have about five inches of depth that it comes out. Um, now there's pockets on the back side of it and there's pockets on the front side of it too just to divide all your documents your paperwork for police officers you have uh, different gear boxes for your accident reports things like that you want to separate different things you have uh, traffic directing items like vests and um, flashlights and cone lights and all this stuff so anything you want can fit in here and the good thing is it gives you enough room to carry everything you want 
but it's not going to keep you cluttered to the point where you have like all this garbage in there. So all this space in here, straps here, strap up front here to uh, once again, uh, keep anything you want that doesn't want to, you, you don't want flying out, strapped in, and all kinds of different organization pockets on the front and the back side. And a lot of people ask, you know, how, how sturdy is it? And the reality is this back side here is pretty solid. So uh, when you get the bag, you'll realize that this is a solid back uh, on this bag. So it actually has rigidity. It's not going to fall over and it's not going to be flopping around. So uh, you have great storage, great organization. It's going to stay stuck to the seat. You're not going to have uh, the bag flying around, you know, with this uh, buckle here. And of course, there's adjustability on this strap here. You could just adjust it as needed, depending on uh, the size of your headrest. And you could just wrap it around here and lock it in. Got to expand a little bit more, lock it in, and you're set to go. So um, this is uh, something that, like I said, if you're in the car a lot, you want to stay organized, and but you don't want to have anything big, bulky, uh, and something flying around on you, a great option can flip over and go right to the back of this seat as well. So if you have kids in the back of the car and you want uh, you want them to hold their water bottles, hold their iPads and hold um, their stuff, you can have everything for them in there. And when they're sitting in the back and they're staring at the back of this front seat, they have pretty much a little home base headquarters, snacks, drinks, everything. And it's gonna be locked to the seat. It's not going anywhere. And if needed, you could attach whatever you want to it. Um, for the uh, civilian that is more tactical minded, of course, you could uh, house your weapons and uh, ammunition and things like that, mag pouches, all that stuff you could attach to it once again on the front or the back of the car uh, of the seat. And uh, for your contractors, you know, you need your clipboards, you need your uh, tools, you need everything organized. And you don't want a, a bag that, you know, it's a one big black hole that everything gets thrown into and then you can't find anything when you need it. So uh, this gives you all the organization you need uh, without the clutter and without the bulk. It's, you know, it's a nice low profile here. Very easy to flip around the seat and move around should someone need to get into uh, the passenger seat of your car. You just kind of unhook this from the top and you're ready to go. Uh, very portable uh, and uh, very easy to work with. So um, hopefully um, this is something that uh, is going to be a huge benefit to all of the uh, police officers and other people that are, you know, working out of their vehicle and um, uh, need some organization in their vehicles uh, to keep themselves sane. Uh, I'm someone that I like to have everything organized because organization leads to efficiency, right? So uh, this is uh, why I designed this bag this way. Uh, it has some key elements not only for your creature comforts, if you would, but also for on the job comforts as well. So um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. I appreciate you guys listening to the story of how the bag got its name. So many people were asking. So I just wanted to uh, do this video for all of those people asking. And um, uh, I appreciate uh, everyone's messages uh, so far about the bag and Harley and how the bag got its name. I thank everyone for your support. And, you know, I hope this is a reminder uh, to people. We got a lot going on right now in our country. Um, but the fact of the matter is dogs don't see color. Dogs don't literally. And uh, dogs don't can't distinguish anything. They don't have they have no judgment. They have nothing. Right. So when a dog goes out there to do its job that the handler uh, is uh, trained to do, uh, the dog is just trying to do the job to protect the handler and protect the public um, and get bad guys. So uh, these dogs literally, like I said, are willing to give their life to protect the handler, protect other officers and protect you, uh, the public, and uh, get bad people off the street. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, you know, obviously, there's a, a, a situation in this country right now where people have uh, a, a small amount of people have a uh, negative view of police officers, and we all know there's there's the bad apples in every bunch. That that phrase has been uh, extremely overused, but there's some people who just don't seem to care about that. But what uh, I want to put forth is 
the 99% uh, of officers out there are doing a great job and uh, we owe our safety and our ability to sleep at night uh, safely and soundly uh, without concern to them. And a lot of times people forget that there are many great dogs out there that are with these officers side by side, uh, also helping them protect uh, you and help you sleep safe and sound. So um, let's just, let's, you know, let's honor them as well. So Harley Vehicle Seat Organizer is live now on 221B Tactical. I will post the link uh, below in the comments and um, check it out. Uh, if you have any questions about it, email our sales team 24-7, sales at 221BTactical.com. And, of course, you can shop 24-7 from the comfort of your phone uh, with uh, www.221BTactical.com. Uh, so, a lot of uh, last thing some people were asking if this is going to be available in stores. Uh, it is not. This is going to be a 221BTactical.com exclusive uh, at this point. So, it's uh, going to be the only place you're going to be able to get this bag. Um, a lot of people are asking if we're going to put it on Amazon. We're thinking about that. But right now, uh, for the launch, it's going to be just on our site. So, uh, check it out there. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Be safe.